welkom to the Homies by Schiefmacher Show. We're on the <laughs> air. On the air. Ja, daar gaat hij hoor. Oh, here we go. Henk, thank you for being here. Ja, no, this is... thank uh, me for being at your place. This is for all the tattoo lovers in the world. Yeah. This is like straight out of my house. Um, with a big man's ruin in the back of you. Yeah, um, great. Well, we, we will talk about that uh, later. later in the interview. But First, we'll have to put your head on the chopping block. <laughs> okay, and then cut here. <laughs> I think I can remember it's three years ago that we sat down for the first time together. We were talking about you being a butcher's son and uh, uh, working uh, with a knife all day from, from an age of 12 on. Uh, I, no, think. <laughs> I, I, I told you I grew up with the sound of a knife. Because the, 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 one of the earliest sounds I remember was my grandfather go like sharpening nice. up his knife. And uh, my father was a butcher. Actually, they they were butchers all the way from Napoleon. Yeah, and, yeah. And we grew up with knives and uh, with with butchering. I yeah. mean, as a kid, I used to go to the slaughterhouse with my father and help him. If we go to the to the to the kitchen knife uh, uh, you you designed. The tattoos you used on the blade, it's not just a Polynesian tattoo, it's not just no, it's something No, first new. of all, it is inspired by yes. the Polynesian tattoo. So there is different inspirations from different islands. We made several different knives. This is the knife we have at this moment. I, I love it. I mean, it, it, it has that semi-Polynesian design. My, I made it, my. I, I don't know if I can call it hanky or... Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. But it has its roots over there. It has its roots in different... There is a little Berber aspect yeah. in there. No North African aspect. There is Polynesian aspects. There is some Micronesian, Melanesian. Lots of Nisians in, mm. one, in one knife. And, and it worked like hell. We started with a, with, with a special tribute to, to Louisa. Uh, Everything uh, I do f uh, has a tribute to, to uh, uh, Louise, because, uh, yeah, I'm the you're romantic. You're such a romantic I'm guy. the romantic type. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. From the both of you, you yeah, are a romantic yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, uh, and, yeah. We have, and we have the tagline, never a dull moment. That was, yeah, you need it, that, that's what you need for the knife, because yeah. a dull, a knife, dull is, knife is, no, is no, not a knife. No, no. Yeah. But this is the knife you prepare the meal with. But when you're having a good prepared meal with a nice steak, with a nice piece of meat, you have some... Well, we, we said, okay, this is the kitchen knife, so yeah. we need a table knife. The table knife we have here. And then I thought like, okay, steak people, people who eat meat, are people with knives. I, ca I guess you could cut off a, a cucumber with it, but like, this yeah. is, it's more made for those who eat meat. And then... So you have a personalized knife, so, so like you go on, uh, at the table and there is four people having a steak, so you can give everybody his own steak knife. And these, again, this stuff comes from, here's like shark teeth yeah, in yeah. there, and here's the waves, and here's again shark teeth. So it has different designs on there, and it has, of course, my little pirate symbol. Your, your typical trademark yeah, yeah, skull, that's, uh, so the Hank Schiefmacher skull. So you can recognize th that it's my... Actually, that skull uh, is something we did years ago because like, m we would always get the question of, of, especially the Italian people, when you tattoo them, like, please, uh, Anki Panki, put uh, your name. And uh, my name is Schiefmacher. And so like, when I put a small <laughs> tattoo on somebody, uh, 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 Schiefmacher would be way too much to sign it. Yeah. But Italian people are people who like brands. So they have a Dolce and Cabana pants and they have the, the Pia Gardin belt. And then they, so like, they wanted, they want a, a brand name tattoo as well. So that's why I designed a little, little design, which is my trademark. Nee, that is, I love this set of yeah. And I, 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 I've been giving it away to a few people. And they all love it. And like people take it to dinner even. Yeah. You yes. know, like they go to dinner with a couple of friends and they take their set of steak knives with them. 
Yeah, we, we have it also in some, some really exclusive restaurants who work with it. Um, and you see that guests are asking for it. Can we buy these knives? Because we also want them home. So and it's then we tell them, yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Knife, knife. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. All oh, right, we oh, should. You, you also, and that was, that was amazing. So can you still remember that I had a wooden cutting board with me? And without saying anything, you took, uh, you took a pen and you put on the side, you put cut here. Yes. It was because of... Now the cut here is an, uh, a very old-fashioned uh, uh, tattoo coming out of, uh, out of the uh, probably the French Revolution, but they used the guillotine. Yeah. So you would challenge the uh, the executor, the executor, with a dotted line around your neck and says, cut, <laughs> like, "Okay, cut let's here, do it over here." here. Oh, wow. So when we made the chopping block, oh here, here's the picture. You, you just took it and you start drawing. Yeah. Well, I it's like to do that like that way. So, so it says. Cut here. Yeah. So like, yeah. No, let there be no mistake. The, and this is a nice, solid thing. Oh, it's, it's really heavy. Yeah. But is it bamboo? It. Yeah. Yeah, but solid, uh, uh, I think it's four centimeters thick. It's At least. huge. At least. Yeah. No, I mean, like, we were looking for what, what more can we do. And we, we thought this was a real successful little item. And people were also asking us, what else are you going to do? What, what, uh, what's, what's next? Yeah, but that's and, it. The uh, people asked for it. What's yeah. next? And there is always a next. So I, we had a very, very old, old, old uh, uh, plan. And which is the, uh, uh, one of my favorite tattoos ever is called the man's ruin. And the man's ruin is the runification of man, uh, which means the temptations of a man's life, all in one tattoo. I gotta find out what it is. Very often it has to do with gambling, it has to do with fighting, it has to do with drinking, it has to do with smoking. Every Here's a typical man's ruin drawing. Wow. Here's a lady sitting in a yeah, yeah. Because, in, because in a glass, there's a revolver. Because typical for a man's ruin is a woman, because a woman can destroy a man. Well, you know, it depends your taste. If, if you want a man in your glass, you can have that as well. But that's <laughs> your, but yeah, yeah. this is a, a woman. But always All these a lady or a person, uh, um, yeah. a weapon, uh, uh, a tool. Uh, uh, it uh, is fighting, would... drinking. Uh, 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 gambling, yeah. uh, 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 in intoxication, <laughs> alcohol, marijuana, opium, uh, th those are all possible ingredients for the men's room. Yeah. You could put fast cars next to it, you could, you could make a different men's room. A knife is often part of a men's room yeah. as well. Yeah. That's why we made this men's ruin knife. This is a more of a personal knife. The good thing about this thing is also ah, a pocket it's a, knife. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's a foldable version of the yeah. of the steak so knife. You can, yeah. There's a knife, very, very ingenious little lock. Boom. <laughs> only to be used on apples and... Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Now, it's a tool. Fruits it's, only. It's only. Um, I, I once got a story from, from a knife maker who said, uh, Rul, please put a pocket knife uh, in your pocket for six weeks and then afterwards put it out of your pocket. You're going to miss it. And I thought, like, really? And, and it, yeah. it, it's true, because you use it yeah, on a daily it basis. A daily Opening tool. a box, uh, uh, putting a screw in. Uh, uh, this, this type of a knife is not made No. To. This is a, 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 a tool. And, 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 and the inspiration of this whole blade comes from the Corsican shepherd's knife, and that is a daily tool. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a tool to make everyday uh, everyday use everyday carry to make life easier. Yes, sir. Yeah. Up in the box, and this thing was actually part of something we have here. Let's have a look. This is the man's ruin. We made it. Finally, what we did is we turned this thing into a complete set. So now we have the full set with the man's ruin drawing. The in, the drawing, the inspiration of the drawing is from a, a, a Danish, early Danish tattoos. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in Denmark, this design, men's ruin design, I redrew this thing, made a couple of little changes. And we have it on the big set. It's a That's Zippo. The real, and it's the real one. 
Yeah, the real zipper. So that's yeah. a, that's already a collector's item. Yeah. Then there is, of course, the knife we knife. just talked about. And this is for your um, kombucha or whatever, like uh, whatever you like, whatever the taste is. But that's your little hip flush to keep you awake and wake you up. And what, then, what of course, in the men's room, you have, so you have the smoking, you have the drinking, you have the fighting, and then you have the gambling part. And for the gambling part, I redrew a set of playing cards in jailhouse style. So I redrew the whole set with a ballpoint. It is all so beautiful. This is our card set. And then, of course, for people who don't like to smoke, there's people yeah. nowadays who don't smoke. We have the same set without the Zippo. Henk, I would say thank you very much for helping me with explaining the storytelling uh, uh, behind these products. Um, uh, let, let the world enjoy what we together made and uh, let them stay tuned for any further cooperations we have. Is that so good? <laughs> <laughs>